Today I'd like to talk to you about a word called disruption. A disruption can be Actually, any... I have a question. Right now? Yeah, right, right. I'm, I'm like in the middle of a recording right now. I'm oh, sorry. Not, right. not the moment, I sorry. I'm kind of actually messing the whole thing up. Um, oh, okay. So yeah. Can I call you? Uh, yeah, whatever. Facebook. Whatever, yeah, Text later. Just, just not now. Sunday? <laughs> Could be, yeah. Next week? Can you go now? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, you okay. going? Okay. Yeah. Like I was saying, um, a disruption can be any distraction or an interruption that ruins the progress of what you're doing. Today we'd like to show you the top seven disruptions when coming to church. Let's watch. Kicking off our list at number seven is talking before or during services. Now many people don't see any problem in talking before a meeting. Cracking jokes with their friends, talking about what happened last week, discussing their future plans and things that have nothing to do with their coming to the church. Things such as football season, games, the latest fashion, the last movie they watched, and most importantly, who's paying for lunch right after the meeting. Their loud talking not only disturbs everyone around them, but also makes sure that their mind is on everything but God. Now there are others who are not satisfied with talking before the meeting and they must talk during the meeting. A simple nudge and one conversation has begun about God knows what. This will ensure that both will have no clue of what the message was by the end of this meeting. Coming in at number six is arriving on the expectation of leaving. There are certain people that come to the meeting with something very important to do straight after. This makes them very impatient and also makes it impossible for them to concentrate on anything that is being said. They search desperately for a way of escape without anybody noticing. Usually this happens in the moment of prayer. And with ninja-like reflexes, they pass by asking the Lord for forgiveness and making sure that no one, absolutely no one, sees them going away. Dropping in at number five, going in and out of the sanctuary. There are certain people who simply cannot sit still. They need to be active. They need to be doing something. So... An hour and a half is too much for them to be sitting down. They need a cup of water. The problem isn't the cup of water. The problem is how many times they have to drink it. Notice as he takes his sweet time in making sure that he is in no rush. Sipping his water, looking at everyone, thumbs up. And unbelievably, he goes for the refill. As if that were not enough, now it's time to go back to the seat. Refill again, and he's ready to go. Whoops. Well, after all that water, there's only one thing left. You guessed it the bathroom break. Whoops, again. Unbelievable, this is one thirsty guy. Oh, wait a minute. He's making an exit. And there goes the door. At number four, Speaking out at the wrong time. Because we are emotionally attached to each other, right? We can easily feel angry, we can easily be ag get aggressive, easily hold a grudge, 
All these things are emotions, anger, aggression, grudges, unforgiveness. All of these things are emotions that accumulate inside of us. Now, just because the message is good and you agree with it, doesn't mean you have to do this. Amen! Hallelujah! The people that do this don't realize how much of a disruption this is to everyone else, especially to the newcomers who don't know what they're doing. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! At number three, being unprepared. Being unprepared will not only disturb your experience in the church, but will force you to disturb somebody else in order for you to get by, such as leaving your Bible at home and having to sit by somebody to make sure that you read the verse together. People who are unprepared have a tendency of doing things last minute or in the middle of something else. And as always, making sure to disturb somebody in order for them to get by. At number two, leaving your electronic devices on. Certain individuals need to stay connected at all times at any cost. That means leaving their MP3s on, their tablets, their phones, or even going to the extent of a playing a video game during a meeting. Yes, playing a game during the meeting. And the classic leaving your cell phone on during a meeting. This will guarantee a disruption to everyone. Now for the moment of truth, the number one disruption of all. Drum roll, please. Always being late. There has never been a greater disruption than this. Arriving after the service has already begun, maybe halfway down, and still trying to squeeze in a prayer and a message and always always managing to get the worst seat possible not to mention disrupting everyone around you and not getting the full message 